And I think Sean might agree it was slurpy weather in some parts of our area. Yeah, absolutely. As soon as you get away from the ocean, you can see a beautiful shot from Santa Barbara looking down toward uh, Carpinteria. A little bit of haze out there. That's part of the key as to why we are so blessed to live close to the ocean. If you uh, had the opportunity today to drive inland, you know what I'm talking about as it was very, very warm. And if you went really far inland, you started to really jump up into almost dangerous heat levels. Today uh, in Santa Barbara, 86 degrees. Uh, not too bad. Definitely warmer than normal. Also Santa Maria. The ocean influence was a little bit uh, weaker today, even in that part of the world where it was up to 81. So uh, nowhere near the records as you can see toward the bottom there but at least uh, definitely above where you should be for this time of year and things will quiet down eventually but it's going to take some time right now uh, as as we we're speaking again look at some of our areas temperatures in San Inez 99 degrees Ojai 102 one of the warm spots for our uh, three county region uh, Paso Robles you did actually drop a tiny bit from where you were I think on Friday if I did the math right Pismo look at that boy you can tell it's a summertime heat when you have that big difference between the beaches and just a few miles in and currently just the little slivers of the coastline are doing okay in the 60s and 70s you go again put a little bit of distance between you and the beaches and boy everything changes dramatically west wind for the most part a little southwesterly as you head farther south in the region but overall just getting a very weak onshore flow but it's just enough to keep us uh, decent as far as temperatures a place to escape to if you will and also marine layer and because the marine layer is rather weak it will tend to sit kind of low to the ground so you see these high humidity values already popping up along that sliver of the coastline and that's indicative of possibly seeing a very low marine layer um, i.e. also known as dense fog so watch out for that tonight lots of rain possible from Faye look at that boy the sixth named storm the Atlantic usually in my memory is always kind of slow to get to the uh, the tropical uh, storm issues for the for the year usually they jump in around August or so and this year really getting busy early so the effects of that a lot of rain not a whole lot of wind they could still see some thunder, so maybe a, a tornado or so could pop out of this. But for the most part, it's kind of winding down as far as the storm system. But uh, something that's not winding down, and I'm going to get out of the way because you can see how massive this dome of high pressure is across much of the west. This thing is a monster. In fact, some records could be broken in areas where that you say that and you really believe it because there are areas that are normally very hot this time of year all the way through west Texas, and they're looking at possibly getting up above 115 to 120, maybe even the low to 120s. Now, as we, of course, we bring it more toward our area, we lose the intense heat once you get close to the beaches, and that's because of a little bit of an ocean influence, and our friend, a little bit of fog, is still lingering along the coastline, and that's expected um, with a summer heat wave because it typically you don't get those offshore events like we see in, say, September, October through the early winter. Um, heat advisory will last through uh, the next um, about a day or so some of that may linger farther inland if you are driving to the east and again the offshore effect usually blows everything out to the ocean we have just enough onshore flow that we keep just the sliver of coastline um, really comfortable 60s and 70s and maybe an 80 or so in the warmest area patchy am fog possibly dense and a very warm afternoon expected across the areas again if you're right on the beach you'll probably see 70s you get just a little bit a couple blocks inland you start going into those upper 70s and some lower 80s that's why Montecito was a little bit cooler than, say, Santa Barbara. And patchy, dense fog is expected possibly right along the beaches again. Inland staying very hot, and that'll be the story for all of our coastal valleys. You get really warm, and again, you go out to the beaches, and you might see that fog lingering to the afternoon. Surf is a little on the small side. It looked like wind swell today with a little mixed-in uh, mixed southern hemisphere swell, and again, on the small side. And there are your forecast maps. We see some cooling coming next week as we head into the middle of the work week especially, and that's because the onshore flow will rear its head again and dig its heels in. The heat inland will remain, but it will be a little bit tempered, and that's because more of an ocean influence. So we'll go ahead and look real quick at Santa Maria. Again, cooling off, but staying really nice. Same story for Lompoc, and we're going to send it to break, and we hope you'll stay with us. We'll be right back.